Hi, I'm Rich with Inside HPC, and I'm here with Kevin from Virginia Tech. Kevin, you work at the Biocomplexity Institute. What is that, and, and who do you help? Biocomplexity is the study of everything from molecules all the way up to planetary systems. So we look at how things interact. So this could be bacteria, this could be things inside your gut, this could be infrastructure. So everything that humans touch, we're looking at how they interact with our environment. So we're trying to figure out to improve the health, safety, and wellness of the human population. Without HPC, this becomes very difficult. So right now we can do a simulation with about a billion people in the world. So when we're looking at Zika, one of the important things is actually airline travel, which becomes a difficult problem. So we're looking at all these interactions. So this gives opportunity for things to happen. And it's not just a disease spread, it could be information exchange, et cetera. One of the examples is we were helping the Defense Department figure out what, how to respond to the Ebola outbreak in Africa. So one of the things they're looking at, where do we place field hospitals? So you want to know where the disease is spreading, mm -hmm. but the countries were just coming out of the rainy season, so we also look at road conditions and other stuff. So we were trying to look at you know, predictions based on where the disease was spreading, accessibility, et cetera, so they could place the field hospitals in the right location. Oh, that's exciting. So, so how does uh, Dell help you with this mission then, for HPC anyway? Dell's been one of our go-to uh, vendors for HPC hardware for the last uh, six or seven years. Uh, but recently we ran into a situation where we're trying to grow our HPC environment. The data center we have in our building was running out of space and cooling. So we partnered with Dell through, and through Dell state contract through Virginia we're able to bring in Total Site Solutions, so they are doing, helped us do a uh, feasibility study of how can we improve our data center space. And what came out of that is we found a, some unused space in our building, and we turned that into a two megawatt data center. So we just finished that this summer.